Happy Tractor Power fans, this video comes to you from a field located in western Kentucky where a 370 horsepower John Deere 8850 articulated four-wheel drive tractor is working on spring tillage ahead of corn planting with a 50-foot wide McFarlane Harrow. During this video, I will share with you how the secondary tillage pass performed by the 8850 and McFarlane Harrow fit in the farm's overall corn planting process. We'll take a look at primary tillage in the fall, as well as fertilizer application in the spring, and the corn planters as they run across the field after the harrow pass. In addition to the field work, I will share the production history specifications and original price tag of John Deere's largest tractor produced in the 1980s. The 8850 is a unique model in John Deere's 100 plus years of tractor production because it is the only tractor offered by the company to utilize a V8 engine. Let's head out to the field now so that you can see and hear this classic big tractor from the 1980s at work. Western Kentucky's crop rotation includes corn, winter wheat, and soybeans. Soybeans are planted directly after the wheat is harvested in this region, and the double crop beans are harvested in the fall. Following the harvest, the farm uses a John Deere 915 V Ripper to subsoil and fracture the compaction from the wheat harvest passes in the summer and the soybean harvest in the fall. The 915 V Ripper is an impressive tillage tool. It fractures the soil 18 inches down in the ground while leaving the surface of the field relatively undisturbed. In the early spring, anhydrous ammonia is applied to the field as a nitrogen fertilizer source for the new corn crop. Here we can see the farm's 620 horsepower John Deere 9620RX with a 60 foot wide blue jet anhydrous applicator applying the fertilizer. Once the harrow has completed its job, the field is ready to plant. Here we can see one of the farm's 420 horsepower John Deere 9420R articulated four-wheel drive tractors. It's operating a 24-row, 30-inch spaced, 60-foot wide John Deere 1775 NT corn planter, putting the new crop in the ground.
John Deere 8850 articulated four-wheel drive tractor working in this video is a model year 1982. This was the first year the machine went into production at John Deere's Waterloo, Iowa tractor factory, and it remained in production through model year 1988. It's powered by a 15.7 liter John Deere 955 cubic inch eight-cylinder turbocharged diesel engine rated at 370 engine horsepower and 300 PTO horsepower. This is the only tractor ever produced by John Deere to offer a V8 engine as its power plant. The tractor is equipped with a quad range John Deere partial power shift transmission with 16 forward and six reverse speeds with the capability of operating from 2.1 miles per hour all the way up to 21 miles per hour. This tractor has a 240-gallon diesel fuel tank and weighs in at 37,700 pounds. The original price tag for a John Deere 8850 when it was new in the 1980s was $120,000. I hope you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field during spring tillage ahead of corn planting with this V8 power John Deere 8850 articulated four-wheel drive tractor. Does your farming operation use John Deere four-wheel drive tractors? I'd like to hear about the model that you're running and the implements that you operate with it in the comment section below this video. If you've enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. As always, thank you for watching.